Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look man, before we get into the video man, it helps out a lot. Make sure y'all like the video, it's free. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, turn on them post notice man. Now look, we got a patch boy. And they patched a lot of error codes, you know, they, they ain't dropped the patch notes yet, but I'm giving you my own patch notes from playing the game, man. They kind of made the error codes a little less, the blue screens, and they kind of fixed the invites to the park right now look they could have did a little shooting patch man i'm gonna go over that in a little bit hold on hold on they probably tweaked a little bit now look man y'all are probably gonna get very upset with what i'm about to say but listen listen to me just just take a breather young michelle wayne tweeted this on the 9th okay so a few days later a patch drop you can't be expecting other patches to be coming to what's this like patch two he asked zero plans to touch it but just for my own curiosity, cap, okay? Cap, read through the Genjutsu. How do you feel about the perimeter shooting so far in NBA 2K23? If you have any specific gripes, let me know in the comments. Specify mode and difficulty if possible. Now look at this, bro. I voted too easy. That is the minority. As y'all can see, I want a skill game. Most people don't. I'm telling you right now, bro. If everyone likes the game, if everyone likes the shooting, then it's wrong. It's just like 2K22. Everyone loved the game in the beginning because the shooting was easy. I'm telling you on this 23 shit, everyone you hear talk about it loves the shooting. But then y'all think, hmm, th think, think about it, think about it. If everyone really loves the shooting and no one says it's too hard, you don't see them struggling, does that mean that it's too easy? Like people are, I know y'all are, like some of y'all, like it might be a little hard for y'all to shoot, but you just don't know how yet. Wait till I drop my video, get this vid over 1K like, I will teach you how. Some of y'all are already learning how. Bro, it's so easy, if you're okay-ish, it's like green every time, bro. I'm trying to explain it to everyone. And the release timing, listen, bro. Listen, the release timing is literally built in sniper. Leak, 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 leak. Y'all think it's out the game. I'm y'all are in such a genjutsu, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, this might be even easier than 22, bro. I don't know, but I'm telling you with certain badges, even though you get less of them hoes, man. They brought the 19 contest system back. If your hand's not up, boy. Start shooting a little bit of computer's face when they don't have their hand up. You wonder why it says open, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Wait till you see what people find out, man. That's why I have a serious issue with people over praising the game, right? Because then he's not gonna touch it later on and fix it. Because when no one knew how to play, you're over here praising it and stuff. But then when everyone gets their badges, their best builds, the meta play style and all this and that, everyone's skill goes up dramatically. Everyone cheese, try hard, start to play. You know, the try hards are in the builder. They're, they're making different builds and stuff. They're not even all out there. You're playing bots, you know, real bots. When everyone goes out there and they really got that shit, how do you feel about the game? Stop with the over praising just cause you want a fucking logo, bro. You're fucking up the game for the future. I'm trying to tell you. One more thing I wanted to show you, man. The release timing, look, he even ask bro he wants to know he probably gonna tweak some shit y'all let me know if y'all notice a difference the only real difference i know bro how shooting is bro if you shoot like some off stuff like super off you you're you're more likely to miss but when you actually like somewhat know your shot the white percent bro i'm telling you if you shoot within that white percent range that was like in previous 2ks it's green now, bro. That's what I'm trying to like explain. The green window's bigger, the white window is way smaller. But even though you're shooting those whites, see look, a lot of whites that I made in past 2Ks or whatever, they would be green now, you know? It's not that I'm shooting it badly, it's just slightly not correct. And then it's, it's still a make, the make, Oh my God, I'm not. <sighs> Y'all don't get it, bro. It's more a visual thing, if anything, man. 
So that's why people are being like, if you hear anyone ever says, yeah, man, whites don't drop no more. They don't know what they're talking about, about 2K, bro. You know, they're, they're an NPC. They're a bot. They, they don't understand. I even mentioned, man, I basically explained what I just explained to y'all, right? Made this tweet. 2K Lab agreed, bro. Okay, so I know what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> and you already see the abuse of post hooking. If you see post hookings like that, why don't you think other mechanics of the shooting would be broken like that? People can hold the square button from past the free throw line, not let go of it, and just hold it, and it goes in every time. It's automatic, bro. You don't have to time it. If you think a mechanic like that in the shooting doesn't affect other parts of the shooting, you're tripping, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wake y'all niggas up, man. But before, before the game get nasty, man. I want an amazing 2K like the rest of y'all, man. You know? I want to have fun. I want this hoe to be popping. I'm seeing 7-2 centers fade from three, bro. Like, And then, like I said, if everyone loves the shooting, bro, it's too easy. You know, one more thing I want to touch on, bro, that might get patched in the future. Y'all might want to be a little careful what you're saying. This is why I be trying to tell y'all the dribbling. Do y'all really think they released the game to where if you hold R2, I'm finna tell y'all a glitch, right? If you hold R2, you don't lose no adrenaline, right? Y'all think that now, since people are figured, y'all think this is what he really implemented? Y'all think this was intended how he wanted the game to be? That if you hold R2 and you do all your combos like that, that you won't lose no adrenaline? Do y'all think that's really what he intended? He might patch that later on and the game might turn up. Uh. You know, a lot of y'all were over praising the dribble system, but now you love the dribbling way more now that you found a way to dribble with it. So I'm like, why do y'all false praise stuff that you don't really like? Because now you're falling in love with the dribbling in the game when now you could do what you used to do. I don't know, bro. Like y'all, y'all are just, <laughs> and then niggas would have come at me and I'm like, bro, the other dribbling was better, but now you could do the other dribbling. And now niggas is loving the game, and but they won't speak up about it to like if it's a problem. Like I really imagine if when you press R two, like everything was gone, everything was like that Lonzo ball clip. Come on, bro, that shit not lit. And I'm gonna tell y'all another thing, man. The PGs they they might get the either the meta is gonna be big builds, or they might get a buff. Okay, in the future, because bro, I'm seeing BP go 0 and 8 in the stage, my boy with a little guard using a screen and stuff. Come on, my nigga. BP always doing his shit in the stage, especially early on. Um, and all little guards I see play, they getting whooped by big builds, boy. The big builds just make it way too easy. And then the big builds can basically do what the little niggas could do, and it's like, you know? I don't know, man. Y'all be careful who y'all get these builds from. But I'm telling you, if you use like a little guard, like traditionally, and really try to score on like them, like them niggas, bro, you're gonna struggle, bro. Unless you switch your whole play style up to that hop back. You know how I play, how I play every 2K. If you don't play like me, you're gonna get like messed up. And I don't I don't I don't know if that's too fair, bro, because it's like I don't know. But it's like my play style is unaffected because I score in a few moves and I I don't know, bro. I don't I don't I don't know if that if that's a right 2k to y'all. Y'all let me know. You know, I basically how I play is I do, you know, I drive, I dribble, dribble, you know, dribble, you know, just score in a few moves, or I go dunk, or I do my hop back. And you know, I do that that general play style, but hey man. Anywho, man, when they drop the official patch notes, I'll be sure to make a video for y'all, man. I don't think they will. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, man. Lord Baby Hawk in the description. And yeah, man, keep checking back on the channel, man. I'm gonna be dropping a bunch of tutorials for y'all, man. And a lot of amazing gameplay. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.